career, how do communication skills, relationship skills, and conflict management skills help you? I think those three all together would be pillars of my job. Um, I don't think a day goes by where I wouldn't use any of those skills on a daily basis. We work with the public in my office and we work one-on-one -on -one with the public. So you really have to have good communication and personal skills to be able to help people. Um, the people that come through our office are sometimes not having the best of times. We deal with divorces, we deal with foreclosures, child custody. It's not good days for those people. So you really have to be personable. You really have to have good communication skills and you also have to have conflict resolution and conflict management skills because you have to be able to handle those situations where sometimes the person is very upset. I try my best to de-escalate situations. Just the nature of our jobs, it's dealing with people who are going through a lot and people are passionate about what's happening in their personal lives. So they come in with strong passion and, and you try your best to give them as much help as you can within the realm of our jobs. So sometimes these situations do escalate and you have to have that demeanor to be able to calm everybody down and be able to help them the best way they, that you can. Tell me about an obstacle or a struggle you faced in your school or professional career and how you overcame it. Definitely in school was the, the culture changes for me is, you know, just as a teenager, you're already going through so much and trying to, you know, fit in or be cool but going from different countries or cultures or even different schools. What was cool and, and in in Jordan was definitely not here. And then you have to come back here for you know a certain grade and you have to change it around a little bit and adapt. Along with being a teenager and already having a lot going on in your life, that was a big obstacle for me. But it also taught me to adapt to change to be stronger than the elements. And you know, sometimes you're gonna do silly things or wear something that's not what people consider cool. But as long as you're authentic and genuine to yourself, at the end of the day, whoever's gonna be your friend will be your friend. So it was, it was, a, it was a struggle, but you overcame it. What experiences or specific people helped you decide that you wanted to choose this career? I think my mother was a big supporter of me and seeing her and everything she went through in life. She came to this country with three kids, didn't know the language, didn't know the culture. So she had to adapt quickly to her surroundings, not only just for herself, but for her family and had to learn a lot to be able to get through life and, and help her kids and give them a better opportunity. So she really helped me adapt to my surroundings. No matter where I was, I was able to just adapt to change and adapt to it well and be able to handle that kind of change. And she also really instilled in me the want for helping people. Um, she loves her community. She loves doing things for her community, whether it's you know cooking meals for neighbors or things like that. She just loves helping people. And she really instilled that in all her kids is, you know, you, you try your best to help out your community. And that's what I try to implement in my professional path now is trying to help as much as I can. And I really did get that from her. Oh,